Good night, fellow punters. The clock on the wall says 22.33 after half ten on Wednesday night. A bit later than I planned, but the Dares held me up. Mighty final altogether. Uh, Luke Little was, what, 4-2 up? Humphreys rattled off five straight sets. More experienced um, were number one. Experience showed. Fella sent me a thing a while ago there that... Um, a mate of his said that he, in England, he brought his kids to swimming lessons and to soccer lessons and to everything. And he stayed with them and the girls went dancing and they went to uh, other things that girls do. And Luke Littler's dad brought him to the pub. And he says, where did, where did we go wrong? So he was, what, 200,000 sterling for that tonight. And his name made, if he keeps the head just needs to keep the head and get guided well because there'll be vultures around now to try and take him over and get a piece of his action um what the bad old day we chugging along nicely in the middle lane um i, I, I sort of fancied them three today and i was saying today could be the day we could bang the three of them in um and the strongest money throughout the day was for Engineer. I think he went off money on. I was expecting Ross Ryan. He was in stall two to um, bump him out straight like he did the last day, show speed. So that, he came out reined him back. I knew we were goosed after half a furlong. So what's he at? So like if he put on the handbrake. Uh, Discussed his start because Liceo, what I was saying, look at We'll probably end up with one out of three, but we got a meatloaf day. We got two out of three, and the grey held on. Uh, they're nice prices. SPs four to one and seven to two. But it's a pity the other one didn't win. But um, anyway, when we're winning a few pound, we're not losing a few pound. Tomorrow, um, I didn't touch Lingfield. I briefly looked at it. It's a place unless there's listed races or uh, class two. At least I don't go near it, but they were all class six and, and uh, you couldn't go near them. And uh, Hereford wasn't hectic, Newcastle. I got a couple of, and a, uh, they're not, uh, they're each way selections. Uh, there's nine in this, uh, three miles, one furlong and 44 years. Hardy boy. I don't know, is that, are, are we on Hardy boy or Hardy fellow before? I think we were on him in 2022 at one point. Um, there's a, a Gary Moore horse there in Vincent Nao. Uh, he's after coming from France. The big question mark is him. He's uh, his, um, went 2-5 before behind uh, Godas. Godas. Uh, first time. He ran a decent race the last day at 2-4. Um passing well um, and that ran third on Saturday but the question is will he stay the extra five furlongs but uh, he was three to one so I went with a safe play I thought to be in the first three inflexible because I think this fella needs the step up and trip um, he was a chase winner, or no, he was second in France. Um, he hasn't won anything yet, but can she stay quiet? Um, but if you look back at a, a look at the form of this race now, when he was his first run in England in 2022, Broomfield present, inflexible. Look what was third, Ed Keeper, and he was staying on that day, and the ground was uh, soft, heavy in places. And he's a big sort of a galloping type. Um, now, the last day on heavy ground and fast less, he was well bet, 22 lengths. Um, but he was staying on. He, he was fifth before he came to the last, and he finished third, uh, galloping type. Uh, I went each way with him. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Gary Moore's horse uh, won it. Uh, but I was trying trying to just uh, not go mental 
And the other one I picked, uh, uh, where are we here? Newcastle. Hay Lind for Michael Dodds and Clifford Lee. This was there's a, there's a race in this fella, and I think that the 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 softer ground, uh, it's a softer surface uh, in Newcastle, and. He had two good runs there. He was behind uh, in air in September and October, um, behind Hartazar and Teller Red, um, rated 74 both times. But if we look at his last run, he's with the orange cap and the orange sleeves, and he finishes full of run. Can't get a run at all to uh, suggest that He's well handicapped. Colours then Cosmos Raj, Tiger Beetle the next in the field, then Light That's it with the nose band in the middle, with the orange. For home, super Can't get a run. Taken on by Wadacre Grace. Here's Great Blasket coming with a run, and then on the outside Cosmos Raj and Light of Stars, Tiger Beetle and Hale End just in behind them. The head now inside the final furlong. Great Blasket just in front from Wadacre Grace and Cosmos Raj as they go towards the line. It's Great Blasket, Great Blasket for Dr. Newland and Jamie Insaw. Wins first time up for the yard, close then second. Wadacre. If you got to run that to hit of one. He was 72. He dropped a pound. Um, he was a 5 to 1 shot earlier, and there has been money for him. But the market will, will balance out again in the morning. Uh, 100 to 30. Got it in with 2 to 1 with the green bookie. He was 5s at the start in the evening there. The, the danger is that old August, but um, he ran twice since he left. Uh, these shores, wasn't he? No, he was Johnny Gosden. Second, he had two. He was well bet the last in an obvious race, but he, he decent race. But he's, I don't know. Um, and again, I wouldn't be surprised if he won it. And uh, he then, I was trying to get two place horses. And do a place double, an each way double like. Um, there was a horse as well. There was a lot of money for the last day. Could be an each way bet. Is Natty Nice? He done a shishkin. Well, he done a half shishkin on it. Uh, the last day, um, sold at the start and wouldn't move at all, but then moved. Um, it was I think eleven to two into five to two. Um, for Venetia Williams, she's going well, but this isn't a, isn't a, a great race by any chance. Um, draft se second favorite five to two hadn't ran since May. Um, it had ran at Hereford before, and it finished third. Um, went to the hundred and seven, and. It's 91 now, so that's £16 pounds lower. I know this is a chase, and it's eight-year-old. And Shane, Shane Quinlan actually takes three off. I'd pick that out as well as an each-way bet. Um, that was the three, sort of, as a, an each-way, each-way treble, each-way Trixie. Um, and then there was, there's an awful interesting race. As you know, I love tackling the two-mile or one-six, the staying ones on the flat. There's a horse there we back the last and I, I think it could run well tomorrow. There's four places. There's Cold Henry. We won twice before in Sutherland, Liberty, Liberated Lad. Uh, but he's a bit out of form, although he did run a bit better the last day. But Cold Henry hadn't ran for, uh, well, 50 odd days. Um, that's Spirit of Ash. It has won four times in Newcastle. But the only time it went at a mile, it didn't run that great. And, or mile, two miles. And that's, if this is a mile and a half, that would be the call. But I don't know what happened at that time on the 28th, 20th of October to 6th of 9 to Halland. Now, that was very impressive, that to that Halland. 
It was beaten in 15 and a half lengths. I don't know if there's any excuse. Now, that was the first time it had gone that distance. Is it what it didn't stay? But it seemed to be staying on. Um, Spirit of Ash. Um, there was some other, I don't know. Which was the one I was... It was one on the flat earlier. Uh, was that... Natty Knight. Wasn't that with Richard Hannon, was it? Yeah. No, Muir. It was rated 80. So, 80 and 40 be 120, like it's 90... 91. That was one of the main reasons I'd picked that. But it did stall. It's an iffy one because he parked himself at the start the last. He'd done a bit of a shishkin on it. Um... That's the two mile race. I suppose the safest play might be um, Cold Henry each play each. Uh, but again, I wouldn't be surprised if if uh, Spirit of Ash. The three of them I win sort of safe. Safety net is down tomorrow because um, we're tipping along nicely. And uh, but I, I know you'd be looking for three probably. So anyway, Shinny. Um. There was a couple of inquiring about uh, Christina. She sent me an email today. I had sent her an email wishing her a Happy New Year a few days ago. Hadn't heard from her. She did email me today. She's a bit ill and so is her husband and so is, uh, I think it's his mother as well. So she will be back hopefully when she gets better again. Um, so wishing her well and Happy New Year to her. And that's me out of here. So quarter to 11. Bash the bookies over and out.